France's decision to deploy the Mistral 3-man portable air defense system, MANPAD, during the Ariane 6 launch in French Guiana marks a significant turning point in how European nations approach the protection of their strategic space assets. What was once a routine satellite launch now resembled a high-security military operation, underscoring how the line between civil and defense domains continues to blur. As drones become increasingly accessible and capable of disrupting critical infrastructure, France has chosen to make its spaceport at Kourou an example of how modern security must evolve to meet new and unpredictable threats. On November 5, 2025, while the Copernicus Sentinel, 1D satellite lifted off from the European spaceport, France's Ministry of the Armed Forces emphasized a layered protection strategy integrating air, land, and maritime components. This system, tested and refined under the long-running Titan framework, aims to secure every approach to the launch site, whether by river, sea, or air. The deployment of Mistral 3 units provided a final, rapid reaction shield capable of neutralizing low-flying aerial targets, particularly drones. These small, inexpensive systems have become an outsized threat to airports, energy facilities, and now, spaceports, where even a temporary disruption can carry multi-million euro consequences. The French military's decision to showcase its defensive posture publicly was deliberate. In recent months, European authorities have faced an escalating pattern of drone incidents, including major disruptions at Belgian airports in early November. Flights were cancelled or diverted, and operations were halted in Brussels and Liège after unidentified drones entered restricted airspace. The timing of France's announcement, just days after these incidents, was no coincidence. By openly displaying its defensive layers around the Ariane 6 mission, France signaled both readiness and deterrence. It served as a warning that European space infrastructure will not remain a soft target in the face of a growing, decentralized aerial threat. At the core of this security network was MVDA's Mistral 3 missile, one of the most advanced very short-range air defense systems in Western service. Equipped with a dual-band imaging infrared seeker and proximity fuse, the Mistral 3 can engage fast-moving, low-signature targets that are difficult to detect by radar. Its engagement range of roughly 8 kilometers and high supersonic speed make it an ideal tool for closing the gap between threat detection and interception. For small drones, many of which are capable of evading radar and electronic jamming, the system's precision guidance and agility provide a decisive edge. This integration of tactical air defense into a peacetime operation highlights how Europe's defense philosophy is shifting, critical civilian sites are now treated with the same level of protection once reserved for military bases. The concept behind France's Titan security framework reflects a comprehensive approach to modern defense. Rather than relying on a single technology or service branch, it creates a web of surveillance and response capabilities that overlap. Naval patrols monitor coastal access routes, ground units guard perimeters and launch complexes, while air assets extend the detection envelope to spot intrusions before they reach sensitive zones. When necessary, systems like Mistral 3 act as the final barrier, capable of intercepting hostile or unidentified objects in seconds. This structure mirrors the layered defense doctrine increasingly adopted across NATO, in which each layer compensates for the limitations of another. France's handling of the Ariane 6 launch illustrates more than just good security practice, it demonstrates a changing perception of sovereignty. In the 21st century, access to space is not merely a commercial or scientific endeavor but a national security imperative. Satellites underpin navigation, communications, meteorology, and intelligence, all vital to both civilian life and military operations. As geopolitical tensions rise and the drone threat expands, ensuring uninterrupted launch capability has become an extension of national defense policy. For France, which manages the only operational spaceport on European soil, the responsibility is even greater. Kourou's protection is not just a French issue, it is a cornerstone of European strategic autonomy. By publicizing its defensive measures, Paris is also shaping a narrative of deterrence. 
The visibility of armed forces around a civilian launch site sends a clear message to potential adversaries or malicious actors, any interference will be detected and swiftly countered. The communication strategy behind this display is as critical as the technology itself. In an era of hybrid warfare, where information and perception are as influential as physical attacks, showing capability and readiness can prevent confrontation altogether. The French ministry's posts and imagery from Kourou, widely circulated across social media, were carefully curated to reinforce that point. Yet the broader lesson from this event extends beyond the immediate threat of drones. It reveals how the convergence of civil, commercial, and defense interests is reshaping the security landscape. As Europe invests in new satellite constellations and autonomous launch capacity, the challenge of protecting those assets grows exponentially. France's deployment of the Mistral 3 manpad in French Guiana is, therefore, both a tactical measure and a strategic prototype, a model of how European nations might defend other high-value installations such as nuclear plants, communication hubs, or energy terminals from airborne threats. Ultimately, the Ariane 6 launch security operation showcased how Europe's path to space must now pass through an evolving battle space. By pairing electronic surveillance with precision weapons and integrating them into a coherent command structure, France demonstrated not only technical competence but strategic foresight. The message is unmistakable, sovereignty in orbit begins with sovereignty over the skies that lead there. In a world where a drone costing a few thousand euros can jeopardize assets worth hundreds of millions, France's decision to turn its spaceport into a fortified stronghold may soon become the new normal for every nation that values both its security and its access to the stars.